This a roly, not a stopwatch. It don't never stop. You know what I mean? Salute to y'all. It's 2020. Uh, welcome to the New Year's Vash Lombard. If you want to know how the channel is going to go for the rest of 2020, I did a live stream right before this video. You can watch that on demand. It'll give you all the information you need on how we're going to move forward uh, in terms of cowboy videos, cowboy think pieces, these live streams. It's going to tell you about how draft season is going to work. Tune into that if you need your information, okay? But we do have some Michael Gallup film to do today. Now, this is going to be a Michael Gallup film session, but it's also going to be a think piece, okay? So, you know, whenever... I'm going to drop a lot of think pieces coming up. So y'all just get ready. Just, you know, I, I just got a lot of thoughts to get out. But um, in terms of this Michael Gallup situation, there seems to be some heat in the street about, hey, Michael Gallup had a pretty good second year. And it's crazy because people are chalking up Amari Cooper's year as a bad year, which is strange. I'm going to get into more of that in a little bit. Um, they're chalking up Amari Cooper's year as a bad year. People are saying, yo, Vach, would you rather let go of Amari Cooper, keep Michael Gallup, and draft a receiver? No. <laughs> I'm not I'm not trying to, trying to go there with y'all, right? And here's my logic, right? Because I've been thinking about this for a minute. Here's my logic. I like Juju Smith. Juju Smith is fantastic with Antonio Brown across the way from him. He looked pretty good that way. When Antonio Brown went away, Juju Smith had to run into some gangsters. I don't want that to happen to my team. You see what I'm saying? Amari Cooper, in which I, I think he had a fantastic year, but he just ran in, 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 into some really good corners in the back half of the season, right? You know, it seems like uh like uh he had uh like like when you have these good games against these 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 other teams, like people seem to forget the good games that you had. Talking about Amari Cooper here. But you know, when he runs into Gilmore, when he runs into um Trey White with the Bills, you know, we we play the Bears defense, we play Jalen Ramsey uh with the Rams or whatnot, and he doesn't get those big catch games, then we just automatically assume Amari Cooper is terrible. Well, every number one receiver ain't gonna have a hundred yard game every game. You know, uh, Julio Jones doesn't have that. Odell Beckham doesn't have that. Um, um, my, what, what's my man's name in uh, Houston? Nuke Hopkins doesn't have 100-yard games every single game, right? And there was this long stretch where Cooper was a top-five receiver here. But it depends on the matchups. I would hate for these great corners to line up against Michael Gallup and see what happens. Because, hey, Gallup had to be the number one guy in the Jets game. When when um, when uh, Cooper got hurt, Michael Gallup had to be the number one guy. And, you know, he wasn't ready to be number one guy yet. Now, will Michael Gallup develop into being a better number one guy? Possibly. I don't know. But I like Michael Gallup going up against these, you know, civilian cats. Look at Michael Gallup up top right here. Number 41. I don't know who it is. OK, and I know a lot of people are going to say, well, it's the Redskins, but, you know, you know, he's beating up against corners against the Redskins. Well, whatever Redskins corner this is, I'm sure he looks like a lot of number two corners on other teams. And if that's going to be a matchup that we use, let's use that matchup. Let's run Coop out there. And look, it, Coop ain't got to catch a pass. But if Coop makes it to where Gallup can go against civilians and they and, you know, and we we passing the ball different because they shading safeties over like this safety here to um to, uh, to uh, you know, kind of eyeball Cooper side or whatever. You know, what I mean, like if that's what we got to do game in and game out to make Zeke more effective, to make uh, Gallup more, you know, to make him more open, I guess, or or in, or in more one on one situations, then cool. Let's let's do that. So be it. So be it. You know what I mean? He ain't got to have a great game every single game to be considered a number one receiver or to make $20 million a year. Hell, Julio Jones just got a touchdown. Look, what, last week? <laughs> Come on, man. Um, what happens on this play? Okay, cool. Some 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 people worried about Gallup's drops, too. I want to do a, do a film session. Y'all... Uh, Y'all, let me know if that's something y'all want to see. I want to look at all the drops from the receivers, but then I want to see, like, why was it a drop? Was it was it a flat out drop? Was it because the ball was kind of was kind of away from Gallup here, or you know he kind of had to adjust to it? I would like to know the vibes around that. You know, what I mean, let me know what y'all what y'all think about the uh, about doing the wide receiver drop video. But here's an example here, right? Cooper's gonna be. That's not necessarily the slot, but it kind of is now. Okay, cool. Um, so we got Coop lined up inside, right? Inside, right? But we know Michael Gallup has a one-on-one -on -one situation with this civilian here. 
Now, if the Redskins had a better corner, they wouldn't put the better corner on Michael Gallup. They'll put him on Cooper. Now, the Redskins are bad at corner across the board here. But, hey, I want to I want to see Michael Gallup against these regular corners every time. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. And it seems like Michael Gallup is really finding peace with high point the ball now. You know, uh, you know, in his in his rookie year, you know, he'll kind of let the ball come to him. The deep ball was kind of weird for him. He, he, he really had to acclimate to it. Um, in terms of like these back shoulder plays, hey, if Gallup is going to develop into that guy, into being one, that's not a back shoulder fade really, but if he's going to transition into being back of the end zone guy, high pointing the ball guy, if he's going to transition into being that guy, then let's keep him where he's comfortable at. Let him high point the ball against these civilians. What's so wrong with that? Why do we got to cut somebody <laughs> Why do we got to cut somebody when it's working? Gallup is getting these looks because Coop exists. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. What's happening here? Yeah, we kind of had a contact drop there. Well, uh, let's see what happens here in the cartel view. Yeah, contact drop. Hey, could he have caught it? Sure, but was it behind him? It was behind him, sure. And if you Dak, maybe that's something we got to work on, you know. Uh, you know, I know Dak finger broke and Dak's coming off his shoulder stuff and he ain't been throwing the ball all week or whatever. And, you know, maybe Dak's one of those quarterbacks where in order to be accurate on game day, he's got to throw the ball all 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 week to properly get, you know, to properly get his, uh, get his accuracy up, but. You know, man, Michael Gallup had a really good game, bro. And I don't want to be prisoner of the moment guy. Pretty good contact catch here. I don't want to be prisoner of the moment guy. 47 pissed off. <laughs> Look at him clapping. <laughs> Everybody clap your hands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Look at him clapping his hand. Listen, um, he's really pissed off with guy. He he can't do nothing with him. Um I don't want to sound like a broken record though, man, but that exists because, you know, of the scenario that just exists because of whatever it is. And if we can exploit some, somebody like that every single week, if our new coach can exploit that every single week, then so be it, man. Let's talk about this though. We know Michael Gallup as the angry runner. Um, you know, Fuster King likes to liken him as he does T.O. things. Well, I like to liken him as he does Des Bryant things. And both T.O. and Des Bryant were kind of angry runners. You know what I mean? Um, Michael isn't as explosive as T.O. or explosive as I would say Prime Des was. Des wasn't fast, but Des was like explosive. He did explode and he was an angry runner. I like angry runner Gallup. If you're going to run into a team that got DBs that won't tackle you or that are, you know, not good tacklers or scared to tackle, however you want to call it, then I'm all about getting the ball to Michael Gallup real short like this and just power range hit. <laughs> Cha-cha real smooth. You know what I mean? That's kind of nasty, man. <laughs> what, 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 what you want me to say, man? Um, good game by Gallup, man. And I, I didn't want to make this video too, 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 too long because it'll be, you know, saying the same points over and over again. But uh, that's my thoughts, man. I would like to know what the chat box feels because I know there's going to be a lot of people that's ready to push Cooper off a bridge. But I'm simply not ready to to do that just yet, man. You know, I think everything in the offense has a has a purpose. Everything in the offense has a has its own purpose, man. I tell you what, Coop going to be healthy one day. Coop is going to get healthy, and this thing's going to be right back. Uh, it's going to be right back as good as it once was. All right. I got a lot of videos I got to make. They probably won't drop all at the same time. You know, I'm going to, you know, space them out accordingly um, because this is draft season. So, you know, my cowboy videos will be, you know, they will do whatever they're going to do. But um, it's the end of the year, and I think I'm going to cry. But hey, it's Vach Lombardi, V O C H L O N B A R D I. I'm rambling at this point. Um, you know, I really wanted to break down playoff football, man. I, you know, it's, it kind of sucks. Kind of sucks, man. I want to uh, at least two or three more weeks of breaking down football because I know how good this uh, this team is and possibly could have been. But 
hey man, we eight and eight, and we gonna you know have to make some changes or whatever. So look out for my coaches to fire video. That's gonna be another one. <laughs> That's gonna be another one coming up. Uh, y'all hold down for the Doski Woski man. I don't want to hold y'all too much longer, man. Salute. After canceling my cable, I saved twenty four hundred dollars this year by switching to Beast TV through ChannelsForCheap.com. Some people pay two hundred plus dollars a month. I paid one twenty a year, or you can go fifteen a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get twenty five hundred HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is multi screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time that you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, smart TVs, tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven-day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels4cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing on my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.